So two quantum stocks that are on my mind that have upcoming earnings are Regetti and IonQ. I wanna go into kind of an earnings preview, but also why I have a good feeling about both of these companies. They're also both near their all-time highs. So I'd like to look at the chart with you all and do a little bit of uh, price analysis. And we're gonna do this in a very short amount of time. It's the weekend. I'm ready to get out of here. I'm sure you guys are as well. So let's jump right in. So Rigetti demonstrates the industry's largest multi-chip quantum computer, which halves the two qubit error rate. I've been thinking a lot about this press release. And there's two things I wanna point out. So I went back into this article and I just can't help but thinking about this August 15th date. Rigetti is planning to launch its 36 qubit system on August 15th. But not only that, they also tell us that they are on track to release a 100 plus qubit based system at a 99.5% median two qubit gate fidelity before the end of 2025. So if they're able to stay on pace, I mean, we only have like five and a half months left of the year, and those would be two really big things from Rigetti. At this $17 price point, I decided to buy a bunch more shares of Rigetti today because this press release gave me more confidence that this company is operating with transparency and they're headed in the right direction with their technical benchmarks. I took a look at the all-time chart and I wanted to just go back in time with you guys really quick to when Rigetti made this 2143 price point when, when it had this wick touch. Well, most of the price action at this point in time was quantum is this new thing, Google Willow's out, everyone's excited. A lot of these stocks exploded in a matter of days or even just a few short weeks. And then of course, when Jensen made the comments, the stock collapsed losing almost 75% of its value overnight. And it's been a long road for Rigetti. When you look kind of historically at that six, seven, five, six, seven dollar price point where it's been caught, bounce from this 1265 to the $17 price point is the technology roadmap and the story is intact with Rigetti. They're delivering on benchmarks, they're innovating, and they're a leader in the space. And not only that, they're building a scalable modular quantum computer. So when I look at the chart with that in mind, I'm thinking, well, there's a gap to fill here because from 1716 to 2143, all of this was more based on euphoria and less based on the actual technical progress. So if Forgetti is able to deliver on this press release and their timeline, I think it's very possible that we could see Rigetti move back up into that price point and potentially surpass its all-time highs, this time based on the technology, not just the euphoria. So I have a couple conflicting reporting dates, but I believe the most of, most of them are saying August 14th. So let's just go over quickly the highlights for Rigetti from their earnings call, participation in DARPA's QBI, the strategic collaboration with Quanta, the award for chip fabrication, the Innovate UK Quantum Mission Pilot Awards, the publication in Nature Physics, and their quantum algorithm success. I wanna look at this earnings. As you can see, Wall Street doesn't have high expectations and Rigetti has missed the last three quarters have been a miss. So is Rigetti, the, the expectations are low, so could Rigetti come with a surprise in earnings? That's a question that I have. Could they have a little bit better? Could they look a little bit better on paper? That would be a big catalyst for Rigetti. So I'm seeing an August 14th, 2025 earnings date and then I'm going back and I'm seeing the launch of the qubit, the 36 qubit system on August 15th. So we have earnings on the 14th and then the launch of the qubit system on the 15th. 
Now, if they're able to do something with earnings, and I'm not saying this is going to happen, and they launch this system, I think that would be a very bullish catalyst for Rigetti um, as far as the stock goes. And then we still have something to look forward to in 2025, the 100 plus qubit chiplet based system at 99.5 median two qubit gate fidelity. So when I look at the chart and I consider all of these upcoming potentially positive catalysts, I was comfortable adding more shares to Rigetti today at $17 and starting a new position at this price point. Now, I'm okay if Rigetti comes down to its rising support. I'm okay if they miss earnings and there's volatility and it comes down. I have a high tolerance to risk. You all need to do your own due diligence. And of course, never make a purchase of a stock based on a YouTube video. You got to really do your own research and, and understand what you're, you're getting yourself into. Uh, I know that I personally have a very high risk tolerance, but not everyone does. So that's Rigetti. I was surprised as well that I was willing to buy Rigetti at 17 a share, but I think that shows how far the company has come and how much is left in the tank even in 2025 based on their announcement. What happened in the last five days, if we just look at this trading week, we ended very strong and there was a 42% appreciation in this equity. Really impressive. And if you look at the price action Wednesday through Friday, there's actually quite a bit of strength in the stock. Not a ton of volatility, narrow trading ranges. We could, of course, see sell off. We could see people take profits and it come back down. But this gap up on this announcement seems to have put Rigetti in a new stratosphere. IonQ claims to be the NVIDIA of quantum computing. They want to build the most powerful quantum computers in the world. So we're now on their careers page. And I like to go to the careers pages of all these companies I invest in because that's where they're speaking directly to the people that they want to work for the company to make the company successful. So currently IonQ has 74 jobs and these range from jobs in the US to Sweden, and they have, they're hiring around the world, rem remote jobs, a lot of United States jobs, Maryland, a lot of Maryland jobs, quantum networking, quantum platform, 74 open positions at INQ. Very nice to see if you're investing in a company, you wanna see them growing, you wanna see a lot of open positions. So INQ has earnings coming up on August 6, 2025, five, maybe 10 trading days or so, give or take. So what is INQ doing on the chart? Well, we've talked about INQ a lot on the channel lately because it's just been in this protracted kind of bullish flag. After its 38% move, it gave back a lot of it, but it's kind of just been wandering its way back up. And today we had some very nice price action. In fact, I was able to take advantage of the price action in the move by selling a couple of options contracts about right here at the peak of the, the price action for the day. So we have a couple of upcoming catalysts for IonQ. One is earnings, and IonQ tends to be one of the better revenue generators currently of quantum companies. Two, they've got the huge $1 billion cash position that added to their existing cash. So they're much stronger financially going into this earnings than the last one. And they have some recent acquisitions that make them very appealing. So if I bring my drawings to the chart here, how is this kind of manifesting in the chart? Well, INQ is kind of in similar territory to where it's been for we have a lot of price history with INQ. INQ has been recognized as a valuable player and a valuable stock uh, in the quantum computing world for a long time, and it's fetched a higher price per share. Now, there is only a very brief moment in time where INQ traded above $48.68, this price range here. In fact, we've had 
uh, many, many recent rejections after our, our bullish, uh, the flagpole on that bull flag. We've had many rejections at that 4868 exactly. And we validated this rising support. So we had this bounce, which we've talked about on the channel, where we had this downtrend. And then right here, we kind of had this reversal. So this mini sell off and then this reversal. So the wick actually touch, if we get a little closer, we can see that we're starting to get into territory where Ion Q is looking again for that $48.68 mark. So what do I personally predict is going to happen? I think if the market can sustain this macro, this bullish risk on macro environment, I could see, let me just give a few cases. And I'm going to do this on the yearly. So it's kind of, it helps make sense of where my head's at with this trade. We've been validated at least 20 times on the rising support. We were most recently validated here. In fact, we dipped under that rising support and things were looking a little bit bearish right here. And we had some very bullish price action in a mostly flat choppy market today. So that's a good indicator of things to come for Ion Q. So we're in this zone one here, and then zone two would be this 48 to 54, 68. I think it's very likely if Ion Q is able to break 48, 68, then we might have a gap fill because a lot of traders are gonna enter the trade here, including Felix. Felix and friends said he's looking at Ion Q if it breaks past 4868. So if any of you guys follow the channel, uh, tell them that might be coming sooner rather than later. So in my base case, I think we get out of this flag and I think we reject off 5468 and maybe come back down and maybe trade sideways for a little while. That's my base case. In my bear case, we break this rising support, we break this trend, we get rejected off 4868, and then we come down to 44, and we trade sideways, maybe we test that 42 again, and we're just sideways forever, and I, I, then I have to stop calling it a bull flag, because at that point it's just trading sideways, like Nvidia for a year. But in my ultra bullish case, we will break through 4862, with velocity and we will get up into price discovery for ion q and i think ion q if they come and have a banger of an earnings or even just a good earnings or beat wall street estimates the writing's on the wall for this company they they have a ton of cash they have made great acquisitions they're hiring talented people all over the world we might look back on Ion Q in a couple of years and be like, wow, you could buy this at 50 bucks a share. That That's kind of my current thinking with, with Ion Q. All right, guys, that's all I have for you. Just a mini little episode here on Ion Q and Rigetti. I'm very bullish in the near term on both of these stocks. I think we could see them reclaim all time highs and start finding some new price discovery based on their own advancements and sector tailwinds. So I hope you enjoyed this content a lot and I hope, I hope you have a great weekend. We'll talk to you soon. See you in the next one.